Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing? Today we're looking at a rainbow vacuum cleaner. And this is the kind of vacuum cleaner that does not use filters. It uses water. And so basically you fill the bottom pan up with water. You have to be careful not to overfill it because if you overfill it, then it gets sucked up into the bushings of the motor. Okay, so this is the rainbow head. It's a little beat up. And what the problem is, is that the beater bar is stuck, so we're going to take it apart and lube it up. Should have lube on the shaft and on the sides here. Because it's rubbing metal to metal. <clears throat> and just a little bit will do. Make sure the shaft is lubed, which I've already done. What I'll do again. And pop this back together and we do it on both sides of course and I've already done this one but I haven't taken this drive fully off yet but I'll just make sure that sliding on there pretty good. But the other problem is we have a stiff motor. Okay, we got the motor out and we see that the lint is plugging the vents up for the motor, which is going to cause an early demise of this motor, possibly, if it were not cleaned out. So, to make sure all this stuff is cleaned out of here so that the motor can breathe. Take a look. Try and stick the vice grip around it. Okay, so I'm just going to take this motor apart and lube it from the inside and clean it as well. Clean the armature. 
And you can see that this motor had gotten wet. You can see the rust in here from the moisture. Rust here. And what had happened is basically, um, if there's any leaks in the seal here, and you can see that this seal here is kind of shot, what will happen is there may be a tendency for the moisture to get sucked up in the motor here. And so that's probably what happened, the moisture got up in there and then see.